Are you wondering what a good shade of blue paint would be and how it might look in your kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, or dining room? And what other colors would go well with this shade of blue? Also, are you wondering, will this be a timeless decision that you will adore for years to come or a trendy decision that you'll regret quickly? In today's visit, I hope to answer these questions and more. Hello friends and welcome. I'm Rachel from the blog Stone Cottage Home, where we create a home from the heart with our hands. In today's visit, we will talk about using one of those lovely classic colors, blue, which happens to be one of Matt's favorites. First, we'll look at different shades of blue, how to use these colors in different areas in your home, discuss how timeless or trendy these colors are, then we'll explore complementary colors for creating lovely color schemes. Thousands of beautiful blues out there to choose from. How do you possibly choose the best ones? I have a couple things that you'll want to consider to help you narrow the selection. First of all, what color temperature are you naturally drawn to? Warm blues or cool blues? Second, what kind of feeling and mood are you wanting to create in your space? For color temperature, you have your warm blues and your cool blues. A warm blue simply means some yellow has been added to the blue and it may even be classified as a blue green. Warm blues are generally cozier, warmer feeling and upbeat and sunny. A cool shade of blue is closer to the natural hue, meaning there is no added black or white. Cool blues are naturally more calm and serene. If you are uncertain which color temperature you're naturally drawn to, I suggest creating a Pinterest board of about 20 to 30 pins of blue objects you really love. Don't look at the board till you have about 20 or 30 pins, then look over it and see if you find a pattern. Are more of the blues warm or are they cool? Another exercise would be to look in your closet. Do you have blue garments in there that you're constantly drawn to? And is it a cool blue or a warm blue? Chances are, if you're comfortable wearing it, you will be comfortable with it in your home. The next thing you'll want to consider in your space when choosing the right shade of blue is what kind of feeling or mood are you wanting to create? Are you wanting something cozy and moody or light and airy? Do you prefer that enduring, sophisticated feeling, or do you go for more of a historical, vintage vibe? If you like the lighter, brighter feeling, these will include blues that are tinted with white, and those options will be fresh, uplifting, and breezy. If you're going for the cozy, moody blues, those will be blues with gray added to them. Moody blues feel thoughtful, cozy, and often have a vintage vibe. Darker blues will have black added to them and are called tones. These often have a grand, dramatic, historical feeling. If you are a blue fan, you may come through this exercise with a range of blues you like. This is great because different blues look good in different places depending on the vibe you're going for. Kitchens are a known favorite for using the color blue. For lighter options, you may see crisp white trim and warm hardware for a juxtaposition or silver hardware for a cool, calm look. Medium blue kitchens are sophisticated. They will feel well balanced and they will blend well with vintage accents. Dark blue kitchens are classic, dramatic, and provide an excellent backdrop for decor. If a full-on blue kitchen is too much, then consider splitting the difference by painting the upper cabinets in a lighter color and the lower cabinets in your blue. The bath is a common place to use the color blue, which means it will be easy for you to find inspiration photos. 
In our master bath remodel, we used blue for a calm, serene feeling, especially since it is a tiny space. We went for a medium color on the walls, complimentary gray tile, brushed nickel hardware, and navy accents. We both love how the space turned out. I would say that whether you're going for a light, medium, or dark blue in your bathroom areas, be aware that most of the themes you're gonna see in inspiration pictures are going to be nautical or beachy. And if this is not the style you're going for, it is possible to create a personalized, lovely bathroom space using the color blue without those themes. Unless, of course, that is what you're going for. One of my favorite rooms to see the color blue used in is the bedroom. Blue is lovely in a bedroom as it can create this feeling of quiet retreat. Depending on the depth of the shade you use, it can go from a feeling of light and airiness to warm, cozy, and enveloping. If you have a larger bedroom and you're wanting to get that cozy, intimate feeling, then use medium to darker range colors to bring everything in. And on the other hand, if you have a smaller bedroom and you're wanting to get that airy, expansive feeling, go for lighter colors. One designer, which happens to be on my favorites list, is Kathy Kincaid for her inspirational bedroom designs. She is fantastic at putting together dressmaker details with a vintage touch, all in shades of blues and whites. So you found a color blue that you're delighted with, but you're still not quite sure where to use it. I would suggest trying your front door. It's a small area, and if it doesn't turn out the way you think, it's easy to change, but it's a delightful way to introduce your personality and to give your guests a hint of what they can expect. Okay, so the big question, is blue timeless or trendy and why? This is simple, friends. If you see the color in nature, it is timeless. The color blue has been around since the world was created. Not only is this color enduring, but there is so much of it. Half of what you see outside every day for your entire life is blue. There are gorgeous natural blue color pairings for us to study everywhere in nature. There are the blues and grays from the mountain ranges, blues and greens in the forest and along the ocean and the blues that are in your own backyard. A certain shade of blue may seem trendy because you see it a lot for a certain period of time, but I imagine you'll find that same shade of blue somewhere in nature. Blue is a wonderful color to create color schemes with since it plays well with many other colors. If you're looking for a calm, coordinated look, stick to blue in different shades for a monochromatic color scheme. Blue and red look great together. You can soften the blue, allowing the red to be the dominant color, or swing in the opposite direction, softening the red to a pink, and then you will have a blue and pink combination that goes well together. One classic blue color combination is blue and coral. This is a juxtaposition as coral comes from the warm colors and blue is from the cool colors. A tried and true color pairing is blue and green. You may have heard the saying which goes, blue and green shall not be seen. But if half of the outdoors is blue and the other half is green, it works very well. One fun exercise for developing what kinds of color pairings you like with the color blue is to create a living mood board. I picked up this idea from Marion Parsons, also known as Miss Mustard Seed. She wrote an article on creating living mood boards, and I will link that for you down below. But essentially, you gather objects from all over your house in the colors you're wanting to experiment with and just play with them and see how the blend of colors appeals to your eye. Another thing you might consider in creating a color palette or color scheme is beginning with what is called a hero fabric or it could be a hero print 
a picture. And what it is, is something you love. All the colors in it go together very well. And then you can choose which colors out of that print you want to highlight. Hero prints are very helpful if you don't know which way to go as it is a pre-created color blend that looks good together. For our personal home color palette, Matt and I have chosen to use the colors blue and green. And when I was looking at those colors and considering them, I knew it was a big step because it would play out all of the choices for paint, wallpaper, upholstery, fabrics throughout our entire house. I wanted to be sure that blue and green really did work well together, even though that is what you see a lot of out in nature for your whole life. So I chose blue and green objects from all over our house and did little vignettes on our hutch to see how we both liked it together and to date. It is the very favorite arrangement we've ever done on that hutch. That experiment confirmed for us that blue and green would be beautiful colors for our home color palette. We also have ivory and brown as our neutrals. And the four of these colors all together is what we work from when we begin designing a room or if we decide to change something up. It was great fun. If you enjoyed today's visit on learning how to use blue in your home, you might also enjoy our video on using sage green. If there's another color that you would like to see featured in a future visit, leave your comments down below or if you just have color questions in general. If you enjoyed today's visit, subscribe for more and until then, take care. If you are thinking lighter and brighter, these will include blues that are tinted with white. These options will feel fresh, breezy, and uplifting. If you are looking for mos mosey, 